All right, everybody. So I'm going to share a poem with you today, some that you probably heard this one before. Uh, I wrote this a couple of years ago when I kept coming out to New Zealand all the time, and I'd go back to the United States, and they'd say, why do you keep going to New Zealand? And I got tired of answering that question, so I wrote this poem. And I, I'll customize it for the audience here. So, um, all right. So when you come to New Zealand from overseas, the first thing you see is just trees and honeybees clean mountains, springs, and endless fields of green. From the jungle valley to the mountain peaks, we listen to Mother Nature and hear loudly she speaks. New Zealand's got world champion rugby and Lord of the Rings, the Hakka, Manuka honey, and Earth's happiest sheep. It's literally in tomorrow. 21 hours ahead means three hours behind. Southern hemisphere, different stars. A whole different sense of time. But then you look closer, and more is perceived. Because like a tree, New Zealand's roots run broad, strong, and deep. With a culture not based on commerce, but on kindness. One that values the importance of wisdom, balance, and silence. Kiwis value fairness, compassion, and honesty. Witty and reflective with self-effacing modesty. Balancing individual responsibility with deep community connections. Leaders elected fairly in honest, open elections. Now I'm not saying that it ain't got problems. Like every place, it's got its due. What I'm saying is let's solve those problems in New Zealand first as we solve them for the rest of the world too. And let me speak it quite clearly so that you all can hear me. You ain't got to live in New Zealand to live Kiwi. <laughs> it's a state of mind shift. It's a different way of being, a different way of taking action, and a different way of dreaming. Of an information economy based in a restorative ecology, spreading philosophy through our technology about all the ways that we've got to be to keep living on this planet. Fairness standard, none abandoned. Ground it skillfully into being, seeing the truth of this life that we've been handed. So now if you resonate with that, then after the rap, let's connect and we'll talk to each other. Because the world, it ain't flat. And so the edge of one map, it always begins another piece. <laughs> New Zealand! <laughs>